Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part eight of Pokemon. And in this episode, we're about to deal with you, Lieutenant Surge. Eh, sorry, I'm stuttering here. But yes, we're going to get our third badge. However, this one's a little bit different. It seems that with Brock and Misty, there were like a limited amount of trainers. Oh yeah, and push, I gave Ivysaur cut just so he could get through. But here, there's only three trainers in uh, Lieutenant Surge Gym. However, this starts to gym puzzles. Now, uh, the problem is... Uh, here's the thing. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to think because this, this gym... This gym! Fuck this gym. There is a code, and in order for you to get that code, you're gonna have to beat all the trainers. But more importantly, if you find a switch, you gotta check for the one that's adjacent. God damn it, do you see what I mean? Because if you find the switch, it's random. So, yeah, that's pretty much the deal with this. And it's random as hell. So, let's go on ahead to our first victim. And I do believe this is... Oh, it's a sailor. So, what's he bringing out? A Magnemite? Not like he's gonna do anything to Sandshrew. Except maybe that. Dig for your troubles, bitch. Oh yeah. And Sandshrew learned Slash. Fantastic. By the way, this is Magnemite before he got the, uh, before it got the Metal Edition to its, uh, its ta ta uh stat typing. Sorry, I can't think of things right now because I'm kind of pissed off at this... Jim, watch. Nothing here. Nothing here. How about here? How about here? Oh, that just means my process of element. God damn it. Okay, and here comes an old man, and I do believe he's got an Electabuzz, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he's got two of them. Oh, he has a Voltorb. That's just great. Let's use Dig. Oh, no! That's not good. And one Dig will take out Voltor. And he's about to use a uh, Magnemite. I'm going to use a Super Potion. Screw this. This is Sand Slash's time to shine. Alright. Oh, come on! God damn it! I'm gonna di- Oh, crap. Oh, wait, never mind. He just used Tackle. He didn't use Sonic Boom. Thank God. Now, the thing about Dig... You're pretty much invincible once you start the digging animation. Except for when you get hit by Bide and also, uh, Swift. Oh, and you could dig to the nearest Pokemon Center. So, out of process of elimination, sorry for jumping subjects, but... There's no switch here. Are you fucking kidding me? There's a switch right here. So... Damn it! God... Oh, I hate this gym so much! Okay, let's see. We'll find that switch. There 
There it is! There we go! Hold on, screw this, we'll be right back. We'll take on that last trainer. I, I gotta go and uh, get myself some health. Or should I say, some potions. And a chance at hell. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Now, before I forget, there's something I need to do. Yeah, this is kind of important. I'm gonna get my Nido King! <laughs> Sorry if that's too loud, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, but... Yes! My Nido King! And this is going to be a backup just in case something happens to Sandshrew. And if not, there's always Pikachu. So on that note, let's switch. Let's move you over here. And if worse comes to worse, Rattata and Charmander can take- I mean, Charmeleon can take over from here. Oh yeah, and Charmeleon did evolve, by the way, in case you're wondering. So let's do this. Let's go after Lieutenant Surge's cronies. Specifically this guy. And now we're going to be introduced to Jugglers. Or... Actually, Rockers. Normally, Rockers carry Electric types, but sometimes they carry Poison types. I... guess because... Oh god! Sorry if that sound hurt at your ears, but um... I mean, hurt your ears. I can't English today! Why? As I was saying, sorry if that sound hurt your ears, but yeah. Rockers tend to carry, like, Voltorb, Electrode, and sometimes Coughing, and sometimes Muck, too. You'll probably see that on the bike, uh, trail. And that takes care of that Voltorb. And regardless of how much, uh, screeching the Voltorbs do, they only have Sonic Boom. And for the record, ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Boom does damage equals to the level. So even if they screech me half to death, it's only going to do 20 damage. Which actually is a problem considering that my overall HP is only 49. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, Sandshrew is the MVP here. Alright, it's time to deal with Surge. Let's do this. Tin Hut, welcome to Vermilion City. Will you look like... Will you look at that? A pot-sized challenger. I had to see, read that again. You've got big and brazen nerves to take me on with your puny power. I mean, puny power. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. He just called me puny? Hold on. I'm gonna show you puny. Well, seeing as how I have a Sand Slash, I hope he has other moves. Oh wait, he only got a Raichu. Never mind. Normally he has a full team, but he only has one Poco. Oh shit. We are in trouble now. Or no, we're not. Haha. -ha. Oh, we almost got him. We almost got him. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention. Lieutenant Surge actually has lots of items. Just like with all trainers, but Surge is one of the worst ones. And I just took down that Raichu by myself. Way to go, Sandshrew! I was just overprepared, but I still need to gain level just so I can get through Celadon City. But with that said, folks, we've got the Thunder Badge. Just from smoking Lieutenant Surge. So the Thunder Badge cranks up our speed. Fantastic. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime. And now we also get Thunderbolt. I wonder if Pikachu learns that naturally. But whatever the case, Thunderbolt basically means that, uh, how should I put this? What Thunderbolt does it practically, uh, is a more powerful version of Thundershock. I mean, I could teach it to Pikachu if I want to, but 
If I'm not mistaken, Nitto King also can learn that too. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Where's where's Thunderbolt? That's rest. Hold on. This is where I, this is Thunderbolt. Yes, he's actually able to learn it. And so is Rattata. Um... I guess I can teach it to Nidoking. Okay, I think I will get rid of... Uh, Tackle. Yeah! Fantastic! Oh wait! I gotta cut the- I gotta cut the shrubbery to get out of here. But, thanks to what we did- hold on a second, I'm gonna have to make some room now. Cause Sandshrew, even though he was the MVP, I think we're gonna have to put him in a box. I do believe we are gonna have to put him in a box for now, because we got two things we're gonna have to do. First things first... Actually, we could put Rattata in the box. The first thing we need to do, and there's a reason why I'm making space for this... We need to... Go over to Officer Jenny. And because we beat Lieutenant Surge... We now get ourselves a Squirtle for our troubles! Now, we're gonna put Squirtle in the box temporarily because we're gonna need to do some, uh... How shall I put it? Traveling. Alright, let's go and put Squirtle in the box. I know it's sad, I just got Squirtle. But I'm going to... You know what? Now that I think about it... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put Squirtle in the box for right now. Oh wait, hold on, I actually need something! I need that Pidgey! There we go! Considering who we're taking on, we might as well have him. Alright! Now then, there is one thing we need to do. We're gonna have to go over to the underground tunnel. There's a reason why I took out Pidgey, because thanks to us getting the... Oops. Oh, I already have an Abra. I caught one off screen. But in case you're trying to do the, uh... Uh, the Mew glitch, there's an Abra right here, just in case you need to do that glitch. I mean, there's also an Abra right near the daycare center, so there's that too. And, of course, I still can't go there until I actually give, uh, water to that guy that's in Cerulean City. But on that note... People often lose things in the underground path. I'm pretty sure Fly is around here somewhere. Uh, hold on. I think it's you that gives me fly. Oh, shit. Wait, where's fly? God damn it. <sighs> I guess it was in the underground cave. Well, there is a reason why we're here. And there's a reason why I went back. Because I got the bike voucher. So, on that note, we're going to be going straight to Cerulean City. We're here in Cerulean City, actually. And we're going to be going to the bike shop. Because of that bike voucher we got, we can now get a bicycle. And now... Guess what we have? A faster way to travel. So on that note, let's get my 
Uh, wait, wait, where's my bike? There it is! Let's ride on my bicycle! Ah, that chip tone! So many memories! And unfortunately, I can't ride in the house. <sighs> okay. I'm going to actually stop for a little bit, and I'll be right back. I'm going to be going over to Vermilion and getting over to the Diglett Cave, so I'll be right back. All right. We're here at the, uh, let's get off the bicycle now. We're here at the Diglett's Cave, and I think we should get back on the bicycle. Think about Diglett's Cave. Um, Diglett's Cave will go straight to Viridian City. And you think this will be the- Hold on, wait, before I do. I'm gonna use this. Because even though... This is a cave. You will run into Diglett here. And Dugtrio. At level 30. Our Pokemon won't stand a chance. So on that note... Uh, we managed to, uh, get through this area, no problem. And now we come to this area, which has Professor Oak's aid. Talk to this guy. What happened? Oh, wait, wrong. Oh, right, I need to use the, uh, I need to use cut to get out of here. Uh, let's see. Damn it, Ivysaur. There we go. I'm pretty sure that this was... Oh, Repel's effect wore off. Ah, there's the guy. Let's talk to him. And seeing uh, if I caught, like, uh, more than 10 Pokemon, because they count evolutions, we now get ourselves... HM25, which is Flash. And I do believe Flash is going to be a very good item for the po for the Rock Tunnel later on. But for right now, I'm going to cut this branch, and I think I'm going to be heading back into... Actually, no. We're here for a reason, actually. We just need to cut out of this area here, if we can. Yes, we can, actually. I'm pretty sure this led to Pewter City. Yes, it did. And there's a reason why we're here anyway. I'm doing some post Vermilion City cleanup. And by the way, I made a little bit of misinformation. We actually learned Fly and Celadon City, so we're going to have to go there anyway. So, let's use Cut. And go in here. I think we're supposed to go in here. Yes. And now... I think this guy is where we need to talk. And we're going to have to give the old Amber to the colleague that happened to be in the museum, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, hold on. Let's see, uh, Ivysaur? We're going to have to go straight into the museum. This is just the exhibit. Shit. Uh, I'm wondering where the machine is. Huh, where was that damn guy? 
But I got the old ember from him. Uh, oh, wait! That's right! The, uh... The guy I'm looking for is on Cinnabar Island. I'm gonna make sure first. So, I do believe we're going to have to go to Cinnabar Island for this. So, on that note, I think we are done with some of the cleanup here. Unless we need to go to Mount Moon. So, uh, no, I don't think we need to go to Mount Moon. I'll end it here, and in the next episode, I'll be on my way to Celadon City. This will be RBMan95, ended it here, and I'll see you guys next time.